to a new video. In today's video, I am going to be recreating this set of nails right here. Um, Helen Nails underscore Yeg. I think, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Um, she's on Instagram. Her nails are absolutely beautiful. Um, I've had a couple of people ask me if I would recreate this set. So, I'm gonna, I'm only gonna do three of the nails though, because honestly, this video is quite long and they took me quite a while. Um, yeah, so we're going ahead and applying two coats of red. Uh, 30 seconds in an LED lamp. And uh, it's like two minutes in a UV, I think. So that's going to go in the lamp. That's the second coat. And then I'm going to use Perfect, oh, Madam Glam's Perfect Black. I'm going to put a little bit on my palette. Hang on, this is base coat. No, this is, yeah, right, a little bit of base coat and a little tiny blob of black because I want like, and a little blob of black. Can you see I've just put some black in the corner as well? Right, so this little blob with the base coat, I'm gonna mix into a kind of jelly color, a jelly black. And then I'm gonna start creating the tartan design. And I felt like the black was too dark then because we right yeah so what we're doing is we're drawing on our stripes so she's done quite thick black lines so i'm gonna do one thickish line down the middle so again you want it the the black gel polish with the base coat you want it to sort of look more like a shadow as opposed to like a, a thick black line because we're gonna where the where the, the sh okay hang on how am i going to describe this where the shadowy lines meet we're gonna fill those squares in with solid black gel polish yeah i think that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> i had to think about it for a minute there so two lines down either side you want to make sure because all her all her little squares were very similar in size. So I'm gonna make sure that this kind of set is as symmetrical as I can get it. I think that's the right description. <laughs> Don't even know. And then we're gonna do the lines across. And at this point, I still haven't cured the translucent gel polish mix that we've made so i'm going to try and make all these little squares the same size it wasn't easy and i did fail <laughs> but you kind of you got the gist i think so i will fast forward this bit a little bit so that we can get to the next stage okay so once we're all the way down the bottom now we can pop that in the lamp for a 30 second cure so can you see where the shadowy lines meet i'm using the solid black perfect black gel polish from adam glam and i'm just filling in the squares i didn't fill that that was it's not very much of a square there <laughs> so yeah so every every area where the translucent lines cross that's the square that we're going to fill in with the black gel polish does that make sense because that would be darker if the two lines overlapped it would become darker yes <laughs> and then once i've done them all i'm going to pop them in the lamp and it should look like this and then we're going to use madame glam's velvet matte top coat you, oh, you can get 30% off Madame Glam gel polishes using my code NATMUG30. So we're going to make sure we cover the whole nail in velvet matte top coat and then pop that in the lamp. So now we're, I'm going to use the white gel paint from Madame Glam. So this, you can work with this over the top of a finished nail, i.e. a top coated nail. Um, also, this, these gel paints from Madame Glam they cure without a tacky layer so i'm going to put these on and i don't have to top coat the nail again so the snowflakes that she's done on her 
on her nails have like six six little arms I'm, I'm just basically copying the snowflake that she's done so I'm, I'm putting like little triangles connecting each arm I'm using all the technical words because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm on about <coughs> excuse me and then coming off the arms here I'm just going to put two little lines either side like that so I'll do that all the way round and then we're gonna have some little um I don't know what you want to call them so like coming out from the center you know where we put those little triangles underneath those bits towards the center so I want to make it thicker and then thin it out as it goes to the center can you see <clears throat> like that and then we're going to put some little dots around the outside using a dotting tool so on the end of each arm that is on the nail obviously the ones that are coming off the nail we can't really do and then i'm just going to use my detailer brush to bring those to a bit of a point like so and then that will go in the lamp for a 60 second cure because the gel paints need 60 seconds then the second nail this one has a black background so again i'm using perfect black this is our first coat each coat needs a 30 second cure i think i said that already <gasps> oh sorry oh my goodness i don't know where the yawning's coming from um i decided not to put two coats on because the black covered really nicely actually so that was one coat if you're doing it on a client you might want to put two on and then i'm using the gel paint to paint on my baubles so the baubles that she's done are both red but the bigger bauble that is in the foreground is a tartan pattern like the nail that we've just done so I'm marking out the shape of my first bauble and filling it in with that red gel paint and then I do have I'm, look, I'm off screen slightly I do apologize it happens a lot I'm an idiot <laughs> and then I'm gonna draw the bauble on the one that's sort of in the background and it's also slightly smaller and slightly lower or is it lower or does it just look lower because it's in the background <laughs> food for thought there we go so i filled them both in that's going to go in the lamp now for 60 seconds and then using the sort of jelly mixture concoction <laughs> with the base coat and the black that i've still got on my palette i'm going to do what we did on the nail to the bauble only we need to make sure that we are so because the bauble is obviously round you need to make sure that you are drawing your stripes on in the way that they would be on the bauble do, am I, do you know what i mean like you don't just draw straight lines on this one because it won't look round you have to curve them yes that makes sense you have to curve them i'm out of shot so we're going to do the, the lines going across now. So we're going to do two lines. And again, this, this is a curved line. This one is just going around the ball. Hang on. Would this be, would this be longitude or latitude? I can't, I don't know. I'm not very good at stuff like that. <laughs> oh dear. So there we go. And then with the gel polish, oh, I'm going to pop that in the lamp actually first for a quick cure. And then again with that, just the black gel polish on its own, not the mixture with the base coat. I'm just going to fill in the areas where the lines meet. So that was ob obviously going to be darker. So just like we did with the tartan nail 
we're going to do it with the bauble. So I'm going to skip forward a bit because it's very, very samey. There we go. And then for this one, I'm using the white gel paint to create the, the, the bauble, I don't know, the string, whatever's holding the baubles. And I'm also going to draw on the snowflakes and some shadowing. So there was a little white bit here and then we need to bring that around there so that you can see that that tartan bauble is in the foreground and the, the little ones in the background. So I've given that a quick cure, like a flash cure. And then on this bauble in the background, I'm going to put a little tree. So this one, I'm not sort of doing this in a... Um, like the big bauble at the front I put lines on to make it look rounded but this one I'm literally just drawing a flat Christmas tree on this one and I'm gonna fill it in and then I think before I cure it I then go ahead and add the snowflakes I'm putting a little bit of dots little dots on to make it look like snow and then we are going to go ahead and draw the snowflakes coming in from the bottom. So these snowflakes are exactly like the first snowflake that we did. And I'm going to do two. One's going to be slightly smaller. This one's going to be slightly smaller, I think. They do almost touch, which is a bit annoying. Um, but look, we're adding those, those little triangle bits in. I felt like I rushed this bit. It, it wasn't very neat. Let's see, a little, a little light. See, look, even that was like... Oh, had to neaten that up a bit. But then it was too thick. I was like, oh, God, what's going on here? <laughs> uh, so I am going to fast forward this. And once I have done both of the snowflakes, I will then pop it into the lamp for a four... 60 second cure because again it's a gel paint and it needs 60 seconds okay so i'm going to add some dots as well to those little strings holding the baubles there we go and one yeah one down there there we go so that's going to go in the lamp now okay then we're going to use the velvet matte top coat to top coat this this nail so again, when you velvet matte top coat, you want to make sure you cover the whole nail because you don't want to find out that you've got some little shiny spots. And then obviously that will need a 30 second cure in the lamp. And then I'm going to take some of the no wipe top coat. This is the shiny one. I'm going to put a little bit on the palette and then using my detailer brush, I'm just going to use a little bit to go around that bauble in the background so make sure that's completely covered and then i'm going to pick up a little bead and place it on and then before it can run too far i'm going to stick it in the lamp for a 30 second cure and then that's just going to give that bauble in the background a little bit of it's, it's glossy so it kind of sticks out and then it's obviously got a little bit of height as well and then the last nail that I'm gonna do uh, is because the other ones are kind of similar so I thought I'd just do three plus also this video is quite long anyway <laughs> so this one the top part of the nail is gonna be clear and then the bottom I'm applying two coats of the red and they obviously go in the lamp for 30 seconds then I'm using the gel paint to create the snowflake so it's only going to be like half a snowflake and it's popping popping out from the top of the red so again it's going to be the same pattern snowflake as what we did on the other nails only she done two little knobbly bits coming out the top i'll show you in a minute because i don't know what i'm about I do know what I'm on about, but I don't know that you know what that I'm on about and you need to know what I'm on about because otherwise it won't make any sense. <laughs> oh dear. 
little pointy bits on the end and then these knobbly bits here she done kind of like she done two coming out there um, but on these I'm only gonna do one now we are gonna put some crystals where the snowflake meets the red gel polish so yeah don't worry too much if you go over slightly a um, couple of dobs dollops with your dotting tool and then that can go in for a 60 second cure and then like we did with the other nail uh, the first nail we are going to do our little tarn pattern again using our base coat gel polish mix i'm going to fast forward this bit we're going to we're going to cut forward because you've seen me do this already so it should look something like that when it's finished so that will go in the lamp and then again we're going to velvet matte top coat the whole nail even the clear bit at the top Again, making sure we cover the whole nail because you don't want any shiny bits left over. And then that will go in for 30 seconds. Okay, so here we are. We just need to add some crystals now. So I am using, um, I've got a, well, I'm going to use one of these. These are Swarovski kites, they're ABs. And then I've got Preciosa ABs. I've got smaller ones and bigger ones. These are round flat backs. And I'm going to be using Nelkami's Crystal Totalist Gem Glue to stick the... I was going to say... I don't know what I was going to say then. My brain just... My mouth just stopped speaking. Uh, stick the crystals to the, the nail. I'm not using the exact same crystals. She had some like triangle crystals, which I don't think I have. So this is why I chose the kite. Um, I'm going to cure that in place before I move on because it's it's quite a big one. And uh, if I'd have just left it, it would probably be slipping all over the place. So I've just given it a flash cure so that now I can work on the rest of the crystals without having to worry about that middle one moving. So I'm just going to add some of the round flat backs to the nail. And I'm going to spread them across the top of the, the red gel polish. And then I will add a couple more where the where the kite is okay so i'm going to pop that in the lamp um to cure and then over on the bauble nail uh, i'm going to put two small ab crystals at the top of the baubles and then if you see what i'm doing here um I've put some gem glue under the bauble and then a little bit in the center of the snowflakes. So yeah, these are the, I'm using, these are gold baubles. By the way, the crystals I'm using are from the Crystal Parade and you can use code NAT5 to get 5% off your order from Crystal Parade. So a couple of AB crystals at the top of the baubles, a couple in the center of the snowflakes and then at the bottom of the baubles, I'm just going to do a little trio of the gold caviar beads on both of them, like so. And then I will give that a full 60 second cure. So that's that nail done. Back over, oh no, hang on. Oh, I was going to say back over to the other nail. We need to put a crystal on this one as well, because otherwise it won't. There we go. Just one, a little tiny, teeny one. Uh, back over to this one, I'm just going to add some gold caviar beads to this. Um, but I'm going to skip forward because it's, yeah. And then and then this is, yeah, ta-da! <laughs> so I know I've only done three, but the other two nails are, I think you'll, you'll know how to do those once you've done these two. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It is completely free and you can always change your mind later. Though I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> Um, I will see you tomorrow because tomorrow is, oh my gosh, it's Friday. Oh, where's the time gone? Anyway, thanks for watching. Love you all and I will see you tomorrow.